Hey guys, look fuck here and welcome to another FIFA 20 team of the season player review and today guys we're reviewing the first Turkish League team of the season card. That is right guys, the Turkish League has been put into packs. I believe it's 12 players that have been put in. Quite a few of them look actually really good, you know, Cruiser. And um, there is a Falcao, but I don't think he's in packs. Maybe he's going to be the new League SBC card or something. I don't know what's going on with that one, but uh, but he looks pretty interesting. So there's Cruiser, there's Donk, who's like the worst one at 87. And um, there's a Brazilian right mid. There's a... The guy that plays for Bosnia and Herzegovina as his nationality, he looks pretty cool. Uh, I am going to review a couple more of the cards tomorrow once they kind of prices settle down a little bit more and all that good stuff. But first of all, I want to focus on the SBC in Gale Kalisha, the former Premier League player. He did cost me 40,000 coins to do his SBC. In the four games that I did play, he did score me one goal and didn't get me any assists. He also does have four star skill moves as well as four star week four. Getting into his game stats, his main uh, standout stats will be his 95 crossing, his 99 short passing, as well as his 90 stand and finally his 88 interceptions I did also have the backbone counts that apply to him and uh, weirdly he doesn't have any traits I don't know if that's like a thing where you know sometimes like dynamic images take a while to update maybe that's the same with traits on occasions I'm not too sure I just find it a little bit weird that uh the team and season card doesn't have any traits at all but um yeah maybe you guys can provide some information me on you know onto that one maybe he does have traits or something like that I'm not too sure but um I am a little bit surprised that he was given a, a team season card. You know, not to say that he's a bad player or anything like that. I just thought that maybe EA would have given him a flashback SPC instead. Uh, of course, one of the main reasons for me wanting to do this card is, well, I'm a Liverpool fan, but I'm also a fan of the Premier League in general. And of course, Gael Clichy, to a lot of people of my age, I'm 21 years of age, to a lot of people kind of around my age... You know, you grew up watching players like Gael Clichy for you know for Arsenal, obviously then moving to Manchester City and stuff like that. And uh, you know, um, I, when I do think of Gael Clichy, I do think more of his time at Arsenal than than you know than at City, to be quite honest. But um, but yeah, just kind of growing up and stuff like that. You know, watching the Premier League. You know, he was just an SBC. You know, when I saw him today, I just thought I just had to do him because you know player that I used to watch kind of growing up uh, and stuff like that. But um, in terms of how he's to use in FIFA, um, I think it's a good card. I think it's decent. Um, you know, 70,000 coins that will cost you maximum to do the SBC. Uh, I'm sure a lot of people can get it for a lot cheaper than that. And, and you know, I, I, I do think he's decent. Um, for me, his first probably is passing. Great passing stats all around. Um, 75 vision, that backbone camp still gets his vision up to 80. Uh, he's got 99 short passing, 93 long passing. And again, with that backbone, his long passing uh, does go to 98. And you can show, you know, it, it, how good his passing stats are, 100%. I think my main problem was, if I had him, it, you know, it's not the easiest for me to get onto chemistry in this team. I mean, obviously, nationwide, it's not too hard. But to get, like links through leagues and stuff like that it's not necessarily too easy um i had him paired up with uh, robert perez prime icon cards he just doesn't cut the mustard anymore that prime icon perez he's just simply not good enough sadly he used to be a few months ago but but nowadays he just he's not there i think if i had like a young min son instead um where you know cliche could kind of feed balls towards you know no doubt he probably would have ended up with a few assists instead you know when i got the ball to perez Perez didn't often do quite a lot with the ball, unfortunately. But uh, but I did like his passing. He can pass out from the back well. He can start off attacks by providing those good um, through balls. He does have a good range of passing. I do think his long passing is good as well. Um, so so all round, I was very, very happy with his passing stats. Absolutely. His tackling as well, very, very nice all round. Uh, 90 stand tackle, 90, uh, sorry, 90 stand tackle, 88 stand tackle. That backbone comes and takes his stand tackle to 99. It takes his slide tackle up to 98. His defensive one goes from 86 to 96. His interceptions go into the low 90s as well which is also really solid so again yeah all around very solid player didn't play that you know i'll be i'll hold my hands up uh you know i didn't play the greatest fever today at the same time uh, i think since weekend league has finished i have struggled um but at the same time i'd rather play well in weekend league and do bad in just normal division rather much just because of course weekend league is where it does matter at the end of the day so um, so yeah i didn't play the best fifa uh, I, I did let in a few stupid goals um, but you know it is what it is. It is you know it is not the end of the world. But uh, but on the whole, I thought he was a good fullback for the most part. Uh, would he get into my team? Purely not because of links. To be quite honest, um, I mean I'm pretty happy as well that flashback Marcus Alonso as well at the same time. But you know we're in a very interesting period of FIFA. You know where cards of like this Gal Clichy could potentially cost you like fifty or sixty thousand coins. Yet at the same time, you can go and buy like a, a team of the season. Uh, Tony Croy. Uh, Tony. Tony Cruz, Tony Cruz uh, from Real Madrid, and he's like under 200,000 coins, you know, so like an extra 150k for a 96 rated team of the season, Tony Cruz, or pay maybe 50 or 60,000 coins for an untradeable fullback in Gael Clichy, it's a very interesting thing, and of course, no doubt people probably already have maybe better fullbacks or 
or similar rating for because I think people should mainly do this SPC purely based on the fact that you know you might have grew up watching them and stuff like that like I did and stuff and I was kind of why uh, I personally kind of wanted to go towards and so I understand maybe you know Arsenal fans City fans or, or people like myself who used to watch him um you know you know many years ago and stuff like that I can understand you doing the SPC he, you know he didn't really put a foot wrong for me necessarily a foot on the whole he's a he's a decent solid card he's not the most outrageous card at the same time but uh but you know he, he'll you know he is solid and, and and as far as I'm concerned he will do you a, a pretty good job but uh, anyway guys thank you very much for watching this video and i'll see you guys later